Well, once upon a time, Productions, as I have here, is a life story option and purchase agreement. Cecilia Pierce signed this contract for a movie deal and sells her story. This is dated September 14th, 1990. And again, right here, purchase price of $100,000. I heard about the Pamela Smart story the same way everybody else did. I saw it on television, I saw it in the news, and, you know, it was one of those stories that everybody was talking about. Tonight on Hard Copy, One Girl's Secret. And also, Elvis Fights Back. Cecilia Pierce was wired for murder. She said that she was in love with Bill and she had a choice. She could either divorce Greg or kill him. She's so perfect. If you were doing this movie now, you'd just cast her. Tim Thompson, who worked for me, took her out for ice cream in Derry, Derry, New Hampshire, to get her rice. So I, I remember making the joke, did you take her to Dairy Queen? And he thought that was stupid. <laughs> but she said if she divorced him, he would follow her around and she'd never have another boyfriend. And he would get the money, the dog, the furniture, the house. She couldn't get a divorce because she wanted the dog, the car, the furniture, and the dog, and she could have money. You know, it's interesting, and as these interviews progress, she gets better at this. Pam got guiltier and guiltier. The Pamela Smart case clearly is evoking a degree of taboo, titillation, the abuse of power. You can arouse that titillation and come out with a completely clean conscience if you can condemn the source under the rule of law. Part of a good story is a good ending, and we think she did it, and we like that she did it, and we like that she got caught. Guilty, Your Honor. For me, the Pamela Smart movie blurs with the Nicole Kidman movie, so now in my memory, I'm not sure what I remember from the actual case and what I remember from uh, the Van Sant movie.